Hey Justin, my name is Erin. I'm with Dup Digital Marketing, and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in, and that's something you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. But the only thing I do ask if you don't mind would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be going over will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and that's anything you can see on your site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what the pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see about 1,500 words on the homepage of a website, but within those 1,500 words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. So your website looks fantastic. I absolutely love the colors that you guys used. Everything is super organized. The layout of everything is really nice. So amazing job there. My only suggestion with your site would just to be get some more uh, content added onto the homepage. We of course want to appease Google with those 1500 words so they will rank your website, um, but those keywords that I spoke about are a huge component as well and they help out a tremendous amount when you're trying to get ranked on Google. So next up is going to be citations, and I just did a quick search, and this is typically the first thing you'll see. This is called the map pack, and citations have a lot to do with that. So a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those details. So you would want to check out where your competition is being listed, and you want to grab those listings for your business, but then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to grab those 10, and then you want to add another 20, 30, 40. That's going to have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here. So next up is backlinks, and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site, and it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So um, let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop, and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other CBD companies that send something back to your site and that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful and unique. All right, and this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation. So it's showing currently your site has 184 referring domains, which are giving it 1.14 thousand backlinks getting it found for 245 keywords, and all of that's driving about 222 people to your site per month. And now here's one of the top competitors. So it's showing they have 4.13 thousand referring domains, which are giving them 48.2 thousand backlinks, getting them found for 7.4 thousand keywords, and all of that's driving about 94.4 thousand people to this website just monthly. So let's take a look at the keywords that they're using here and we'll kind of get some ideas. So typically with keywords, when someone has to go to an actual location to purchase something from you, you want to make sure that you're targeting um, your service area. That way when someone comes across you in the search results, they're able to actually visit your store because you're close enough to them. But when you're selling products on your website, you can target the entire United States if you'd like to. Um, that's completely up to you. But let's take a look here and we'll see what they have. So um, this CBD oil near me is a great one because it's listing the product or service or industry. And that near me is going to automatically revert to wherever the person searching is located. So uh, something like that you can definitely use, especially when you're again selling products on your website. Let's see what else they have here. And I promise you, I am not going to bore you and have us go through all of these keywords, but I do just want to be able to give you kind of an idea. Um, so another thing that you could use, um, depending on where you're wanting to target, I'm not sure where you are, but um, like full spectrum CBD tincture, let's say NC. 
that would be a great one to use because you're targeting a specific area, but you're also listing that product as well. Um, and with your website, you can use keywords in just like your paragraphs of content, but you can also use keywords in your product descriptions. Um, and that will definitely help out a lot too. So again, I'm not going to bore you and have us go through all of these, but I do hope that at least kind of helps and gives you some ideas of the types of things you can work into your content or your product descriptions. And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But as we spoke about earlier as well, also making sure that you're always adding on to that. That way you're far surpassing your competitors because that is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google. But that is all that I have for you today, Justin. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you'd like more information on Dup Digital Marketing or how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. Um, but thank you so much for your time. I think what you guys are doing are, is absolutely fantastic. And thank you all for your service from the bottom of our hearts. But you have a great rest of your weekend. And thank you.